What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, this video is pretty much just going to be episode number two of the eTunes series. Just kind of giving a walkthrough of a basic eTune. Um, this car is a 23 FA20 WRX with an AEM intake and an AOS. That's all it has on 94 octane. So it's primarily just a stage one plus car. Um, so we initially started this tune on Monday. He sent me the logs on Monday at 1 a.m. in the morning. Um, the first base map that I normally send to the 23 or 22 FA24 areas are cars that I give them a stock base map, completely stock base map, and I have them go do the four logs just to get the stock. Um, ah, I forgot. The only thing else I changed on the stock mapping was for the AM intake. That way the calibration for fueling was pretty on point, but that was it. Everything else is completely stock, um, stock tables, everything like that, because I wanted to get base numbers for virtual dyno. So here completely stock on virtual dyno, it gave us 266, 256. Now, normally when you open up virtual dyno, it puts you on dyno jets, which gives it a 9% increase. And I just thought this number of 290 was pretty high because normally on most of these cars, on the past 20, like on the year 23, um, most of the tunes that I do, and I do like a stock log, like stock boost, stock timing, everything, these cars will normally pull in around like 270, 260-ish. And I, I remember on like the 22s, it was like 250 or whatnot. So I don't know if Subaru like boosted it up a little bit. I'm not completely sure. But I felt like using DynaJet correction was just completely, the numbers would just be too high. Um, so I just decided to go with the virtual Dyna that just gave it a one multiplier. And that satisfied pretty much in the average um, of where the number should be. So we started this tune on Monday at 1 a.m. Um, I had him redo the wide open throttle pull because I don't think he did it 100% um, correctly according to the instructions. Uh, for the WAP pull, I make customers um, pretty much go from 2,500 RPM all the way up until 6,500 RPM uh, on these cars and 100% throttle. So I don't think he fully did it correctly. So we went ahead and um, made him redo that. So I sent him that Monday at five o'clock in the morning. I was probably still up tuning. I'm always tuning at random hours even 3, 4 a.m. in the morning. So he got me back the watt log uh, Monday at 12 p.m. And that log is what the stock map is, which is this. So once I made sure that this watt log was completely good, ready to go, um, he, he wanted me to check if he had any air leaks or anything like that. And so I did a, told him to do an idle log, and then he said that his dam dropped to 0.8. Mind you, this is still on the stock map. And uh, where was where was it at? Yeah, so he's still on the first base map. So by then, this was yeah yesterday at five o'clock, mentioning the dam drop things like that. And then I sent him, accidentally sent him the wrong email. Um, so this is where I actually started tuning the car on revision number two, meaning changing the fueling, changing the boost of the car, changing the timing, making sure um, that was all done. So I sent that to him yesterday at 7, uh, 23 p.m. And he got me back the logs by 9.30, 9.40-ish. 
and then I double checked all the logs, so I made him do an idle log, five minutes at idle, just let the car sit. I wanna make sure that everything's looking good, AFR is looking good. Um, made him do a driving log, which is just casually driving, um, just as you would in like the normal city, coming to stops, drive, passing people, just going through the gears, things like that. Then I make him do a cruising log, which kind of just gets all the data I need for if you're on the highway, and I can just double check all that. And then the watt log, as I said before, um, that's from 2,500 in third gear all the way up until 6K to 65, depending on if the customer can safely do that. And then we move to, I think I made all the adjustments and I sent him this map today at early in the morning at 8.50 a.m. And then he sent me the watt log and I've tuned a good amount of these cars to kind of get it on point. And this log right here, this is what we ended up with. So third revision in, that's what we ended up compared to the stock map that was completely on the car. So as you can see, the stock car made 266, 257, or 256, and then the complete tune on map three. So technically two maps of me adjusting things. Um, the car made 305, 349 torque. Um, even like right here, it made 255 at 3700 RPM. And on the new tune, it makes 349. So almost a 95 torque difference from just the tune on the car. And then even up here at 55-ish, 257, three. So it picked up 50 horsepower up close to the top end. Um, and this customer decided to stop it at 61. There's not really a point on a stage one car to go out to 65. So I think I actually tried to add a little bit more power and I think the car had damn drop, so I initially just went back to the last map, so revision three, and I just removed like one or two degrees of timing just to make sure everything was good. And that was the end of the tune. So we started on Monday. Today is Wednesday. So three days, three revisions to fully um, tune the map and get the car completed. So if you have any questions, just make a comment down below. This was a pretty quick video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, I'll be back soon with more videos.